feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me. Here's the deal. When you're not here, I'm not the same. I'm needing a new chapter, babe. Been stuck here in a bed for days. I've been staring at the telephone. Cause when you're gone, I'm what's going on? <laughs> this is what working from home looks like, okay? It's nine o'clock in the morning. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit, all right? Bye. So this is what working from home looks like. <laughs> um, I've been up since about six. I had to do some things for work. And that's out of the way, at least for the rest of the day. It's going to be a slow work day. So that's fine. That gives me time to edit my videos and introduce the beginning of this video. So hi, everybody. It's a vlog. Okay, it is. It is. But there's nothing that's going to happen for the next hour and a half or so because I have to do some editing. So there's not much you're going to see here. Nothing to see here, everybody. Keep it moving. And then as soon as I get ready and go downstairs, then the day can officially start. Um, I have a couple of errands I need to run. I need to post some things and uh, pick up some other things. So there's that happening. And I, I'm itching for a new plant, but I can't buy, buy a new plant quite yet. Because I need to buy a friend of mine a plant first before I buy myself a plant. Feel me? Um, so yeah. I'm introducing the vlog. Hi, good to see ya. Don't know how many days it's going to take me to record this particular vlog. Uh, I'm working on my laptop, that's why I have my glasses on. I'll talk to you guys when I am more decent looking. You can see now I'm just, I'm just a mess. I'll talk to you guys when I'm a little bit more decent looking, okay? Okay, love ya. Bye ya. When was the last time you got this footage? Huh? Huh? Um, I am actually... I'm just taking a couple of humps. That's why I'm holding you guys down in place. Um, one of the things that I need to get, especially for my car, is a GoPro. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. And a couple of other things that I need to get in terms of just new equipment, just time to upgrade a couple of things. Um, I'm going into the shops now. There's, there's water bottles in this car. Because I just keep hearing water bottles. But I'm going into the shops now. I need to go into Postnet. I need to uh, send off something to Balesa who's in Gainfern, but we both couldn't be bothered to come to one another. Oh, shucks, it's the post office. It's not even post-net. Sorry, sorry, lady. Uh, brother, Hello. how's it? Good. There's no post-net here. It's just the post office. Only post office. Okay, thank you. Thanks, thanks. Well, that kind of fucks shit up because now... I need to, I need a post net, not a post office. Uh, 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 that sucks. Okay, now I don't know what to do. I could just do it when I go to work tomorrow. Because I don't know of any post net around here and I trust the one in Bedford for you anyway so it's fine I'll do it when I go to work tomorrow I'll just explain to her that I thought it was a post net but it's actually a post office anywho so don't mind me I'm driving I'm parking got it All right, let me quickly go into the shops. <laughs> this was useless. Let me quickly go into the shops. I actually knocked my tooth this morning, right by my tooth and my gum. And now there's a, there's a mark on there. 
It was bleeding a little bit, but it's fine now. Thankfully, there's no cracks or anything, and I'm hoping that it stays that way. A mess. A mess. Okay. Let me go into the shops, get one or two things, and then I'll be right back. Okay. Um, hey, what's going on? I uh, just got back from the shops. My hair is a tip because I haven't styled it. I haven't done anything. I just took a shower, wet it a bit, and then kept it moving. Uh, normally when I style it, it looks a lot more put together than it does right now. So let's not judge the girl, okay? Um, so I just got back into the house. Uh, popped into the shops. It was a fail. I was supposed to go buy... Um, no, go post something for Palisa at Postnet. But it turns out at my in my area there's a post office there, not necessarily a post net. So yeah, it's not gonna work. So because I am going into the office tomorrow, I'll just post it tomorrow. Keep it moving. <clears throat> so I popped into the shops. Uh, okay. Uh, so I ended up popping into the shops and getting literally eggs water and spring onion i told you guys that i i really don't need to pick up anything extra or whatever i've got everything i need in the house um so uh, i felt like having a like a egg anything just not with bread or whatever i just felt like having two eggs maybe some tomatoes some cherry tomatoes maybe some um what do they call these colorful tomatoes? What do they call them? Uh, it's an exotic tomato mix from Woolies. It's the one with the green tomatoes and the yellow and red and whatever. And I wanted to do like an egg and tomato something. Um, that's why I bought eggs because I don't have eggs. Actually, the eggs that I have in my fridge, I don't trust them basic cut so i'm thinking of just making some eggs something removing those eggs from my fridge and then eating reading i'm currently reading a new book <laughs> so i finished so i finished transcendent kingdom by yagi yasi and now i'm reading the burning girls by CJ Tudor. I started reading this one uh, yesterday while we were going through load shedding, but I read it in the last literally 20 minutes of load shedding. So once the power came back and then I got sucked in by my Korean drama. Oh my God. Guys, I'm watching this um, Korean drama series thing on Netflix called Love, Marriage, Divorce. What a wow. My fridge is open. It's it's a literal what a wow situation. It is so good. So freaking oh my god. It's so good. So I'm so ensconced and entranced by that series that I haven't picked up a book in a while since Transcendent Kingdom. Memorial I am still reading, but I'm reading very slowly. Um but this one I knew would take me in because it is a thriller and it's I think it's a horror actually uh the burning girls by cj tudor so it follows this reverend by the name of jack uh i forgot his surname he is a reverend to a church in somewhere in london and then gets posted to a church in sussex and it's a small community, a very small religiously patriarchal uh, society. And they, when he gets there, he finds out that the reverend who used to work there before him uh, had died. So he didn't actually know. He knew he had died, but he didn't know how. And it turns out that that red reverend had actually uh, killed himself, hung himself in the church. So you can already tell that there's a lot going on, okay? 
uh, and I'm only 40 pages in. So really, I'm not even, I haven't even dented this book because it's got like 381 pages. So I haven't really even dented this book, but I am thinking of reading today and actually maybe just staying away from the Korean, the K-drama. I keep saying Korean, Korean. The K-drama for a bit. It is a Korean drama, isn't it? So gonna stay away from it for a little bit today and actually do some reading as long as I don't have work to do. So I'm keeping my phone close to me just in case a work call comes in or uh, an email comes in that I might need to address quickly. So, or a, or a team's call, whatever. So anyway, um, I'm really thinking of making a very messy, lazy breakfast because I want to jump into that uh, sun-dried tomato pesto. What is it? Where is it? So, I want to make some eggs and I want to make it with this. But I do not want to have bread with the eggs. So I'm just going to have eggs, maybe a bit of avocado, uh, these tomatoes as well, and call it a day. Honestly. And then for lunchtime around 3, because it's already quarter to 1. <laughs> Maybe around 3, half past 3, I'll make a smoothie and then dinner time will be at 6, 7. See? not the most appealing breakfast but it works for me uh, it's pretty good a lot of the time when I am not recording uh, a food video this is how messy my food comes out <laughs> yes. because sometimes especially breakfast dinner I'll kind of go all out with it and I'll make it look pretty and stuff which is not that often but when I'm recording something for the channel, then I'll make it look nice and I'll dress it up nicely and whatever. But today I really couldn't be bothered. Really, really couldn't be bothered. So yeah, here we are. Mm-hmm. It's good. It does what it needs to do, um, which is nourish me. <laughs> the pesto is doing the absolute most. I'm telling you guys that sun-dried pesto, Mmm, 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 so good. Okay, I'm getting a call, hang on. Hello? 
All right, so <clears throat> I had to take a call. And while I was on the call, I finished my food. <laughs> so I'm good now. Feeling a little bit more satiated, which is good, which is great. It was a rather small meal. So what's going on? Okay, the garden people are here. So <clears throat> it was a rather small meal, but basically what I was trying to show you is that my meals are never really as neat as you see them when I prepare them in a food video, in a food vlog or whatever. I normally dress it up and I make it look cute and all of that. But this time around, I was just like, yeah, nah. Now you see what we're not finna do is that, not today. I just want to eat. I just want to fill up my tummy and that's pretty much it. So that's what I did. Now I have a little bit of downtime. Um, I'm thinking of editing, but I spent the morning editing, so... Plus I don't feel that good either. But anyway, I don't know what the rest of the plans for the day are going to be. There's a little... There's three floating shelves above here that I'm looking at right now. And I don't like how they look. I feel like it's now just messy here and I need to change this whole look up. Put some other things on here, but I don't know quite yet what to put on here. So we could do that. What, why am, do I keep hearing noise? Oh, it's the garden people. They're coming into my yard. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, so I'm thinking of switching up these floating shelves. I'm thinking of also just changing, you know, there's some really nice ornaments on these shelves, but I'm kind of tired of them. I'm not the ornament girl that I was a couple of years ago. Now I really just, I'm not crazy about ornaments. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these. And I don't have... Uh, some of these are black and I don't have black um, accents in this house. Not, not, not so much, no. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I might give them to my sister or I might um, give them to Tandy. I don't know. But I want to show you the mess that is this now. <laughs> and I'm going to need, <clears throat> I'm going to need a step ladder for this one because yeah, I can't reach that top shelf there. Let me show you. See that mess right there? There's one at the very top, which is close to the ceiling, but I don't know. That that was a design fault. I don't know what the hell they did there. But this shelf here and that shelf there, I need to just switch up. Um, not quite sure yet what to put on there. I could put, um, uh, what's this, recipe books. I could put recipe books up there, but because it is in the kitchen so that would work um but i'm not quite sure yet so what i will start by doing is just taking down everything these are the ornaments that i'm talking about where i'm just like okay i don't have accents black accents that one in the center has a candle in it if i'm not mistaken uh so okay i'm getting another call Ish, gents i'm so sorry oh plus the machine guys are here so let me go quickly Okay, so this is what I ended up doing. The top one, I'm not even going to show you because I haven't decided. But this one down here, I decided to keep a little dash there because I love dash right next to the diffuser. And then right next door are my recipe books, some of them. 
I didn't want to, recipe books are quite heavy. If you're somebody who has recipe books, you know that they're quite heavy. So I decided to just pick the three that I use the most and it's the Jamie Oliver one, the Real Meal Evolution, which I love to use when I have people over or whatever because it's real hearty good meals. And then the one at the bottom is my favorite one, which is Whole Food for Balance. I really, really love that one. And then on the side there, I just have a little bit of greenery, a candle, and that little, um, it's like a scottle, it's like a scottle. It's like a, what do you call that thing? Um... A little I don't know that little bowl there on the corner there uh, that's what I normally put my earrings in or rings or whatever and I like to keep it there because um, when I'm rushing out it makes it easier for me if I forget my earrings or rings upstairs then I just dip into that bowl there uh, while I'm down here so that's pretty much what this looks like. Much more neater. My gosh, the before was frightening. Uh, and then at the top there, I still haven't decided. But for now, we love. So this is my spoon holder. I got the bamboo one. It's extra length, which is great if you wanted to put in longer knives and all of that. But because of the size of my drawers, I typically keep it at that length. I was actually tidying up my spoon drawer here trying to wipe it down and then I thought you know I haven't wiped this down in a while so that's what we're gonna do as well now uh, we're just gonna spray a little bit you know let it sit and then spray in here the other way and see if these uh, extra um, um, compartments would open but it still doesn't fit right in the thing so this part drives me nuts because there's nothing I can do about it and these are things that I do need for my kitchen like a can opener a wine opener obviously uh, my butter knife which I love so much it served me so many years I have to keep it there yeah the light at the back there so yeah there's nothing I can do about it now but it definitely looks a lot neater than it did before happy I'm happy I'm happy thank you good morning it is very early in the morning it is 20 to 8 I've been up since 6 30 it's a couple of days later from the previous shot that you have just seen i don't know what it is i don't remember uh it's saturday morning this morning and i still have my morning voice exciting um i went out last night with my sister and we went out and we had sushi at fire room and we had a really really great time i had so much fun um I didn't vlog that because I was just out with my sister, you know. I was trying to just be in the moment and enjoy being with my sister. Um, and now this morning, I think I went to bed around 2 a.m. Uh, speaking to the mans. And now this morning, I'm accompanying him to... I'm really, I'm really tired. I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. Uh, he probably is too, because, uh, yeah, we slept around to half past two this morning. So I'm accompanying him to get his second Vax dose today. Uh, he's on his way here. Uh, um, and we're going to go there. And then I was also supposed to meet with my sister for breakfast, my sister and her boyfriend. 
I don't know if we'll all meet together or if my person is going to leave because he's just, he's, he's weird. Okay. He's wired very differently. Uh, he'll probably just be like, nah, you can have fun with the kids. I'll go. I'll see you later. We are supposed to pretty much spend the day together today. But I'll see how that goes. So now I wait. I'm literally just accompanying him to go get vexed. And I'm probably going to sleep in the car, truthfully. So I don't know how this day is going to pan out. I thought I should just open the vlog today and tell you how what's been happening for the past couple of days i have been going to work that's one of the reasons why i haven't been really filming much because i feel like i need to go touch up my brows that's why i haven't been filming much because i've been going to work and there really isn't anything to film at work um so now oh, i need to top up on my skincare yo gents there's a lot that i need to do <laughs> a lot but yeah so now um yeah i'm in all white today okay and i am chilling here waiting for him to come back i'm watching a bit on youtube and um waiting for him to come here sorry to get here he's on his way and i'll see i'll see what i can film i'm probably just gonna pass out in his car and while he does the things and and then yeah we'll see if we go for a coffee if i'm meeting my sister for breakfast i don't know how today's gonna go out but you'll be there for it a little bit of it you know how it is you know how i roll when i'm with the hands. okay talk to you in a little bit i really want a cup of coffee oh my god i want a cup of coffee oh, Good morning. Hi. Uh, it's a couple of days later, walking down the stairs. Um, there's some work being done here at the house. Um, how do I explain this? I need to tinkle first. Let me go tinkle. Let me sanitize my hands and I'll tell you everything that's happening. This will probably be the last, wow, this will probably be the last portion of this vlog, but I'll tell you everything that's going down. Okay. Hey, I'm back from the loo. Is this angle a bit better? So there is some work being done at the house. It's a new day. It's literally days later. Um, but I felt like the footage that I had before wasn't enough for it to be like a long vlog. So I kept it. Um, so this vlog will probably drop sometime this week. When you're watching this, sometime this week, my right hand is not my strongest hand. <laughs> so anyway, there's some work being done at the house. And because of that, I had to take today off. Uh, I have a problem with pigeons here where I live. <laughs> um they sit i'll show you guys exactly what i mean so pretty much they sit at on the wall like at the top top there and they poop and they poop onto paint so the poop you can you can see it like you can see it and at this point it was really really starting to frustrate me um amen amen you know they say that a home is never finished you always have to do something and so yeah the guys today are here to clean up that wall and also install bird spikes and i'll show you what they are they just pretty much keep the pigeons away from perching on there sleeping there overnight and pooping and all of that the work is being done outside you might hear the yeah and then also um there is a gutter that needs to be installed and those guys are coming in today to do the measurements as well and then possibly the fisher board as well there's a lot of work that needs to be done <laughs> to the house um there were heavy rains recently and winds and because of that uh one of my fisher boards came down so barge board homeowners you know those kinds of terms and all of that um so these are things that we need to concern ourselves with because you know, 
when you're renting, you don't have to worry. You just call the landlord, the landlord sorts it out for you. So unfortunately, now I got to sort it out myself. So I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. The guys are going to be wondering why the fuck is she shoving the camera in her face. But so we're still busy working outside. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands because I'm hungry. At this point, I am starving, and I just feel like having avocado on toast with some fruits, the way I normally do it. Um, but yeah, so I had I had this problem with the birds, and I mean I love me some birds and everything, but nah, if it comes at the point at the expense of them defacing my house and making it look like nobody lives there we're not gonna do that we're not gonna do that so they're gonna finish up say in the next maybe about hour or so in that time i'm gonna make some food i've already made them something to drink um and i'll probably give them some biscuits or something to go when they're done um but yo there's nothing that frightens me. I just tweeted this. There's nothing that frightens me the most like watching somebody work at tall heights, like really, like at great heights, it's actually scary. And, 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 and they're working on a ladder, still frightening to witness. And it's one of the reasons why I've come inside the house because it's just really scary. And yeah, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna make my Avon toast now. I uh, think a cup of coffee would also do me wonders. I think, I'm not sure if I want an espresso coffee or if I just want instant coffee. So I'm going to boil my water anyway. Or I could have a smoothie. I could. And I think that's exa exactly what I'm going to have. I'll probably have a slice of avocado toast a little bit later, much later on in the day. But I think I'll start with the smoothie. That's my kettle. Gotta go.